Alrighty guys, we are back with my let's play of Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 1 Awake Part 4. Damn, there's a lot of parts to this. Holy shit. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? Ooh. And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Oh, shit. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. There it is. What, what do we do? Time to snatch and Should run. Pulse? Swipe, swipe, swipe. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. Ah, shit. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about ah, this. Ah, shit. You guys putting us on? Damn it. Rachel, run. What the hell? <laughs> run, 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 run. Nah, shit, I knew I was going to screw that up. I, I had to at one point. Chug, 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 chug. So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. Damn. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Damn, I can't believe I screwed that up, son of a bitch, and I can't rewind it. I'm not Max Caulfield. At least not until the bonus episode 4, if you guys already pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition. Where you get to play as Max Garfield for one last and final time. Ooh. Oh, that looks badass. Damn, she's just chugging away. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Oh, nice. Hell yes. Trash. Uh, yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's What's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Exactly. What the hell is wrong with her now? She was being fine like two seconds ago. I oh, don't let her be.
Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Oh shit. What the hell's her problem? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Oh, ah! shit. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Oh, so shit. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. What is her deal? Now she's a bitch for some reason. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, I, Rachel. I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Ooh. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Uh-oh. Because... Because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? Mmm, it's gotta be a friendship right now, I think. A real friendship? I thought Chloe Price doesn't need friends. I... I thought so too... before today. I... I guess it's easier to be alone if you decide it's a choice. I'm sorry... for whatever I did or didn't do. Today was the best day I've had since... since my dad died. And I screwed oh, it shit. up somehow. Like, I screw everything up, because I'm a fucking screw-up. Chloe, please. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm sorry, Chloe. I can't say why, and I know it isn't fair. But I can't be your friend right now. Ah, oh, shit. Can't? Or don't want to. Does it matter? I'm really sorry. Bullshit. Bye, Chloe. Bullshit. Oh, God damn it. Nope. Nope. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. God damn it. God damn it. No. Nope. 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 Who oh, no. No, 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 no. It's time to smash some shit. Fuck this place. Hell yeah, what the hell is up Rachel's ass? I love how they all say just smash. Come on. Fake and hollow. Who else do I know who fits that description? Ooh. Fuck off, Rachel. Yeah, what the hell happened with Rachel? Like, literally, seconds. Literally. They were fine. And then all of a sudden, Rachel was like, Oh no, I don't want to be around you. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. 
Oh, damn. Fuck oh, now Chloe's letting it all out now. Oh. Let's see, your school called her think you know why we have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better, Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, I'm worried about you. Please let me know you're okay, okay? Hold on, let me smash up some shit. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Damn. Fuck you, David. And she is just pissed at everything now. She, see, she, perfect example of bottling shit up. Because that's what I do. And now it's just all erupting. And now she's just letting all her emotions out. Anger, sadness, all of that shit. Uh oh. Dad. Oh no. Oh no, now she's really gonna lose her shit. Oh no. Smash it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, copyright, copyright. I don't know on the song. The song likes belongs to its rightful owners. Please don't mute my video. I'm not making any money. It's all a hobby. Please don't mute my video, because I'll be pissed. <clears throat> yep, that's probably going to be it, isn't it? This is going to suck. Waiting. Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Oh shit, uh oh. Ooh. Because you're uh -oh. not real. <laughs> I'm not. What the hell? What is going on? What the hell? What's past is prologue and shit. Uh -oh. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Mm. Oh, I love the shirt. Arcadia Bay, Oregon with a lighthouse. Mannequin. Oh, I guess shit. I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I 
I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, that's one body. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes people need you, though. Oh, shit. Please, 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 please don't end it like that. Oh, thank God. Who's that? Oh, it's the bird. I thought that was someone walking for a second. It's the raven. Oh, shit. That's probably it, isn't it? Nope. Oh, I like this. It keeps going. Well, keep it coming. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. Ah, shit. Once they start, God damn it. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. <gasps> All right. Oh. And that woman no. was definitely not my mom. Oh. Oh, the worst shit. Part is, I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe... I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. Damn. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to 
scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming Ooh. like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Mm. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Meeting you, this friendship, it means more to me than you could possibly imagine. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. Oh. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan, you got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions <coughs> asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. I borrow your lighter? Oh, shit. Thank you. Uh-oh. 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 I don't like the sound of this. She had that dream of, of Rachel on fire. Oh, shit. to happen with the fire.
Just cause another damn wildfire. Oh shit. Yep. As soon as she asked for that lighter, I was I knew it. Damn, must really suck to live in Arcadia Bay. The original one, you got a damn storm tornado coming. Now this one, it's fire coming. Oh my god. God. Episode one awake. Oh boy. I fucking love life is strange. Oh my god. We're gonna let these credits play out and I'm gonna start blabbing until they're done. Oh my god. Okay, I knew something was up with Rachel and the fire, and then when she asked about for the lighter, I'm like, uh oh, oh no. I thought she was gonna, you know, literally catch fire and die, but I'm like, no, that can't happen because Mr. Jefferson kills her. So I'm wondering if he he has to show up in episode two or three he has to show up at some point and she's gonna go missing and chloe's really gonna freak out and damn they 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 got me going they got me teary eye there i didn't full-on cry i almost started to almost they're just messing with me right now until like the later episodes where I know it's probably going to be way worse. But real quick, I do not own this song. The song belongs to its respectful, rightful owners. I'm not making a profit, no money, it's a hobby. So please don't mute my video. But if you do, just make sure it's just the songs that are taken out. So I might just be blabbing, there might not be any music. I don't know. Receipt. There it is right there, writer Ashley Birch. So it's cool, even though they didn't, you know, she wasn't able to come back as Chloe. But damn, this new, the, oh, here we go. Casting and voice. Maybe it'll say her name. Here it is. Rihanna DeViris. DeViris. I can't, I'm not sure how to pronounce what I think, but that's her. She is nailing Chloe right now at first. I, was, I wasn't a fan of it, I'm like, eh, but then again, she's younger, but damn, she is nailing Chloe, like, she sounds just like a young Ashley Birch, no joke, it is amazing, I'm glad I pre-ordered the deluxe edition, which means I'm getting the episode 4, the bonus episode where you get to play as Max Caulfield one more time, a young Max Caulfield, and to get the bonus outfits as you saw earlier. I have no idea when episode 2 is coming out, but obviously I will do my let's play of it, because 
why not? I did season one of Life is Strange, I gotta do the prequel. And obviously I'll do season two whenever that's announced, we know nothing about that. <laughs> but I think Rachel has some type of power. But then again, if she had some type of power, Chloe never mentioned it to Max. Maybe she chose not to. I don't know, but there's so... Oh my god, so many questions. Oh, I cannot wait to see what happens with this. It's so cool to see... All the old characters again. You get Joyce, David, William, Nathan, Victoria... You get new characters like Rachel, you get... Oh, of course you got Frank coming back too, can't forget Frank. Oh, man. This, this... Oh, I love Life is Strange so much. Like, I would say it's in my top three or top five games of all time. Twisted Metal's number one. I'd probably say Life is Strange, season one. Before the Storm and Season 2. Like anything, Life is Strange is probably n my, my number two. And then three and four. Forget that. You all want to know where Life is Strange is. That's like number two of my top three, top five games of all time. Without a doubt, because no game has ever made me literally, legitimately cry my eyes out like when I saw that sacrifice club ending at the end of life is strange season one I didn't record it obviously I had it I did it off camera just watched it on a whim like oh you know that would be whatever oh no that messed me up big time like that was ooh like, no game has ever done that and I've passed along the game to friends. I've gotten them to play it. Now make sure they play this too, because why not? <clears throat> oh man. Oh, I love Life is Strange so much. I wonder how season two is gonna be, because it's gonna be, they confirm that it's gonna be in a completely different setting different characters although i'm hoping maybe we get a cameo from max and chloe and stuff like that i'm sure we will maybe obviously it would be a new power don't know what the power would be because i don't think they're going to do time travel again why would they i've heard maybe a mind reading power which would be pretty sweet mind control or something who knows maybe maybe instead of going back in time they can go forward and see into the future. Will it be another female main character protagonist, or will it be a a male protagonist? Which I would love to see. But there's there's oh man, who knows what's gonna happen? Oh, it's gonna be so good. But obviously I will be doing the Let's Play of Episodes 2, 3, and the bonus of Episode 4, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Oh man. So, be sure to go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, my videos, Microglass Gaming, my main YouTube channel, Microglass Productions, my other third channel micro glass music go ahead and follow or like or whatever micro glass productions on facebook all that stuff all the typical youtube shit that everyone has to say i, I don't shove it down people's throats i just say hey you know like comment subscribe share whatever the links are down in the description too to uh, Microglass Productions and Microglass Music to the Facebook and my Twitter, which I hardly ever use, and all that. Oh man. I wonder if there's gonna be choices like at the end of uh, the Telltale episodes, if there's choices. This was a long 
episode. Holy shit. Right now, it is 1.05 in the morning. Um, Friday, September 1st now, it's, since it's technically the new day. I can't wait to see how long this is. A little let's play of episode 1. If, if all the other episodes are going to be like this, then bring it on. Oh, the longer episodes they are, the better. Of course, this one had to be quite a bit of a longer episode to introduce um, Rachel and get us acquainted with younger Chloe and the story going. So now that that's going, we're going to be in full force for the next, for the rest of it. So I'm excited. And you're welcome for playing. Thank you for letting me play this amazing game. Let's see if we get like a next up type thing. Ooh, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, awake. You attacked. 59%. Okay. You were mean to Joyce, 37. Was I mean to Joyce? Shit. Let's see, I can't tell if I was. I don't know if the lighter part is my choice or the darker part. You defend. Okay, the darker part has to be. You ran, yes. You were kind to of Joyce, yes. You defended Nathan, yes. Let's see. You told Rachel you are just friends. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of, yeah, I'm glad I went with that choice. Because they barely know each other. Let's see, next. Yeah, yeah. You didn't take the money. Oh, shit. Oh damn, I didn't even realize there was money there, son of a bitch. Oh. You didn't purchase pot from Frank? No, because I didn't have the money. You read Joyce's self-help book? Yes. You didn't put the photo of William on the dresser? No, I didn't. I wonder if I should have. You didn't slip money into Joyce's purse? What? Oh... So if I, oh, damn it. If I had seen the money, I could have taken it, and then I could have put it in her purse. Oh, shit. Oh, well. You told Elliot you would go to the play with him. Sure, why not? Even though we all know Chloe's going to end up with Rachel. If I play this right. You told Skip you liked his demo. What? You didn't listen to Skip's demo? Come on, now. Let's see, you finished... The tabletop game with stuff. You didn't finish the tabletop game with stuff. Okay, I didn't. You sabotaged Victoria's homework. You're goddamn right I did. Victoria's a bitch. You told Rachel you believe in love. Falling in love is stupid. Who said that? 57% of you? Come on. You shared earbuds with Rachel. 98%. Who the hell wouldn't do that? 2% of you. You jumped out of the train. You didn't jump out of the train. Damn right, I jumped out. I wonder what would happen if I stayed. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So we're back here. Cool. Alright. Oh shit. No one steals from me. Uh oh. I want my fucking money. What? Episode 2, Brave New World. Next episode coming soon. Play collector mode to complete your graffiti collection. Oh, shit. Well, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to go back to the episode menu. Holy shit. Who was that? Was that Frank or was that that one dude that I bumped into and spilled his beer? That jackass. Okay. I already got the full season, so we are ready to go. Episode 2, Brave New World, coming soon. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh, the menu changed. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, hell yeah. All right, you guys. That is going to be it for my Let's Play of Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 1, Awake. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please, please, please subscribe comment like share all that stuff to microglass gaming which is this channel 
my main channel, Microglass Productions, where I do reactions and I make my own content and movies and stuff. And also Microglass Music, which is my third channel. Go ahead and go to my Facebook, Microglass Productions, there. I have cool content going there. New Microglass Comics is there. I'm working on that. Um, I think that's all I have to say for now, so I will see you guys for Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 2. See ya!